the hell is bandage time? Ah, we are offering affordable first aid for you and the good people of Los Angeles. It looks like a penis tonight. with glasses and a hat on it. That's what I would hate to think like. if that's what your representation of a penis is, that sir. That definitely, you know listen, that judge. definitely looks like a penis with glasses and, yeah. and a hat on it, Steve. This is a failing business. Is that a fissure in the middle, sir, that you have, or is that what was going on? That's a, that's a, the tip. That's, that's, okay. Well, anyway, Mr. Pillbot, your product isn't placed right there. And at your earliest convenience, you can pick that up. I wish, unfortunately, we are not offering delivery at this point in time. Uh, thank you so your much for coming to manage like time. Wait, what? You tell him, Pillbot. You just threaten me? Do you need bandages? I can offer them for free. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, I could use a little bandage. There you go. Oh, thank you so much. This is a way better. Why don't you open up a booth and just do this? You could put this big headed business. I'll fund it. I'll invest in it. You'll invest in it? Okay. Yeah, sounds yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, let me ask you something. When you look at just that band aid. So heal again. When you look at that band aid for the the bandage time logo. The, the, the penis? Only person, yeah, 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 exactly. The penis. This is all you people have time to do with your lives. What do you mean, really, you people? This is all you have time to do. This is discrimination against government employees. Yeah, yeah. What's the matter, Steven? I'm not the one that made my emblem a penis. With glasses no, but and a you, hat. You definitely represent a head from here, sir. Do I? You think I'm a head? No, Kyle? No, never. Exactly. See, I'm a sweetheart. You, sir, are literally use a penis as your logo. Sex cell, sir. A penis is your logo. Sex cell. And it has glasses and a hat on. Are you calling it yourself a dick? To have your interest. It has piqued my interest. Uh huh. That bulge between your legs definitely suggests so. It does. Because mm -hmm. I got a fat cock. Would you like to take a selfie with it? No. Yeah, I'll leave you two and your penis talk together. Got it. Uh, no, we're done. We're good. So can we're you good. tell me what inspired you to start your own business there, Stephen? Uh, sir, I want to offer affordable first date for the good people of Los Santos. Hey, can I, let me, can I you sample know, your goods? Sure you can, sir. Absolutely. I don't see why not. Sometimes shit happens. It does, sir. It does. I, I think you could probably understand that sometimes uh, you might get hit in the head with a shoe. Mm. Hey, hey, how's that feel, dickhead? Son of a bitch. Oh, hey, yeah, how's that feel, dickhead? Hit the one with the blue. Yeah. He, had a, he had a big mouth. Yeah. Yeah. He was a, he yeah, this was one a over here had a big cut. mouth. One he did? Oh, yeah, he, hey, big mouth, he shut your fucking mouth. How's that? Put a oh, shoe in it, pussy. Steven, have you ever looked in a mirror? How old are you, Steven? Sir, I am 25 years old. You're 25? Yes, sir. The fuck, you got like that aging disease or some shit? Yes, sir. It's called Los Santos. Built like a dwarf. Are you sure you're not a dwarf? I'm built like a dwarf, sir? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm literally two inches taller than you. Are you sure you're not a dwarf? I mean, you got like that kind of like, you know, like you could be like a, a giant dwarf. A giant dwarf, sir? Well, yes. I've never... Hmm. Like you I could be like the world's before. tallest dwarf. The world's tallest little person. Ah, like the littlest giant. I loved that book when I was a kid. I didn't read books when I was a kid. Too busy playing really? video games. Oh, oh, I see. That explains the arrogance. Well, what, what anyway, the, it's good to see arrogance. You, sir. Arrogance. Mm -hmm. Arrogance. I'm gonna shut the. You know what? I'm getting into the bandage game. And your attraction to flaccid things. Attraction to flaccid things. If anything, that looks pretty erect to me. <laughs>Hey, what's going on? Claire, what the fuck, Claire? Where have you been? Uh, I just go on duty usually around this time. Okay, gotcha. Well, how's oh, shift? How's your yeah. shift been? Pretty good. Why are you wearing a corrections uniform? Oh, do we get to cosplay is what we want to be? No, I'm the warden now. Got it, one second. I'm, no, no, I'm the sheriff and I'm the warden. Wait, I Wait, thought Fontaine was the warden. No, no, I'm the sheriff. Well, I don't know. I think she's captain now. I'm, I'm now the warden. No. Why are you... I'm the warden You're and really the sheriff. The I'm help, I'm help, well, I'm helping my dad out. You're becoming the overlord. I am becoming the overlord. How's Teretti doing? <laughs> Is he okay? I mean, the inmates want to say some, you know, goodbyes to him over they, at the bleachers. They threw some fucking bricks at him, Fred. Uh, hey, I thought those were shoes. Freddy, what the hell? Why are your feet there, so dirty? There were bricks inside of so those dirty. shoes, Fred. Uh, uh, sh shoe bricks. 
Are you ready? Are you okay? Tickle his feet. Tickle his feet, Claire. Oh my I'm god, Freddy. This, this never, this never happens on the fucking television. No, you tickle show. his feet. Okay. <sighs> yeah, you do it. <laughs> Okay, I'll tickle his feet. Don't now, touch my feet. feet there, Amber. It's gonna be really like fucked up when he They're finds really out that dirty. his own girlfriend knocked him out with. And Toretti, you're gonna be promoted to captain. You're my <laughs> second in command <laughs> up at this place. <laughs> <prison. laughs> Over my dead body. Congratulations! Right. Congratulations! Right, All right, inmates, we're heading back to the bleachers. Parting words for Dominic to ready. It's a lot easier to. Uh, yeah. This is the segment where you guys talk about what you learned from each other. All right, um. You know, this this is the part of the show where we all talk about like what we learned, and uh, you know, you guys tell you guys tell Toretti what you think about him, that you're gonna miss him or some shit. Uh, it's not scripted, so just go off the cuff. C tell him what you feel. Uh, Toretti, I'm pretty sure you're going. Oh right, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, one second before we begin, one at a time. All right, magician I want already. My phone back. You'll get all your belongings back when you leave the prison, Toretti. That's how prison works. So um. Who would like to speak first to Dominic Toretti? Mag oh, Magician wants to talk again. Go ahead, Magician. <clears throat> you mentioned Barry and a girlfriend. Can I ask what her name is? Um, Lily Pond. She's right there. S senior Officer Lily Pond right over there. Standing next to uh, Captain Malton. That's his girlfriend. He loves her more than anything. Or, or he likes her more than anything. Why do you... Why does he ask? All right, go ahead, um, Chairman. Uh, yeah, Toretti, I just want to let you know that if you continue down this path of blasphemy and, and bullshit, you probably are going to go to hell, and I'm going to be praying for you. Fuck LSPD. Oh, fuck hell you. Yeah. Fuck LSPD. Hell yeah. The assistant chief of police. He, he is the assistant day. chief. Uh, Get some. Yeah, oh. take this. Oh my God. Uh, Bug Lady, any last words for Toretti? He's about to leave. Don't you come near me. It's a gift, though. Wait, wait, wait. She's, 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 I, I will fight you. Like it's kind of rude not to take it. I will fight you. Toretti, don't, are you going to hit a woman? It is pretty I'm going to have to. It's just a caterpillar, Toretti. Are you going to fight a I woman? I don't like caterpillars. Stay away from me. Are you going to fight a woman, Toretti, if she throws uh, a caterpillar Please, at somebody you? do something. No, no. We oh, got to let them work this out. This is also about overcoming fears. Stay away from Toretti. Hold on. This is all about overcoming fears. Go ahead, Toretti. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't I'll want it. it. I'll take it. I'll take Go, it. No, no, you gotta, it to you gotta give it to Reddy yourself. Go ahead and give it to Toretti. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please don't touch me. Don't Go. give me that. Hey. Is this thing? One. Oh, this one does not gonna hurt anybody. No. You have one. She says it's not gonna hurt anybody, but it will. Gotcha. Fred. Get the get the fuck back. <laughs> Hey. I don't I don't want to touch any of your dirty fucking bugs, oh lady. God, get the fuck back this? to your bleachers. This is the guy. Hey. hey get the fuck the back to your you bleachers, like, lady. Let's go. Back to the bleachers now. We're trying to give him a gift and you're the I don't want to fucking Oh, bugs are gross. Wonder. Fuck that. What? The caterpillar has more muscles than a human. Wow. Okay. 4000 muscles. Come on, Toretti. Let's get you out of here. Thanks everybody. Come on, Toretti. Let's go. You guys are happy. This is the guy that you Thanks for being here for this episode of Beyond Scared Straight starring Dominic Toretti. Catch you next time. Toretti! We need you to make some slushies for some officers before we go. They say they like the way you do it. Toretti, you get back here! You get back here, Toretti! What the fuck's wrong with you? What do you mean you don't watch those things? I mean, you never, you never look at a cock during the porno and you go, damn, that's a nice dick?